The future of the auto industry may boil down to the difference made by a single letter, R, as in the difference between a lithium-ion battery, like those found in today's electric vehicles made by Tesla and others, and the lithium-ion phosphate batteries coming soon to the market. Today, I'm going to talk about Tesla and the science behind the next generation low-cost million-mile electric car battery. This is a very good report made by Tim Mullaney and this is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Uh, please, if you are here and find friends for the first time, subscribe to our channel, like this video to show your appreciation of Tim's work who has published the story and CNBC. And let's get started. As Elon Musk's Tesla has been talking about new battery technology development as part of the lead up to the uh, company's first ever battery day for investors, Wall Street is buzzing about the difference uh, the next generation of batteries may make. Vehicles with lithium-ion batteries, also used in cell phones, are expected to give way over the next few years to cars and trucks made with lithium iron phosphate and other chemistries. This will cut costs, extend vehicle ranges to 400 miles or more between charges and enable batteries to last as long as 1 million miles. Reducing Tesla's own cost and spurring mass adoption of electric vehicles remains critical priorities for Tesla, as echoed in a mass message in a message from Musk to employees on Monday, saying it would be challenge to break even right now. The new technology will change the experience of owning a car, whether a Tesla or one made by rivals in General Motors, which is also working on new battery technologies, analysts said. In particular, the extremely long life of batteries soon to hit the market are likely to mean the batteries hold their value well enough to be resold when owners trade in their cars, possibly for use storing solar electricity for homes. And the next generation batteries, long leaves may live, um, by bat actually the next generation batteries long lives may let them be used in um, ride-sharing businesses that demand cars uh, that can take the pounding of near continuous use. If you are talking about batteries that can last twice as long for the same price, it completely changes the math for the consumer, says Wedbush Securities Analyst Dan Ives. Iron phosphate batteries are safer and they can have second or third lives as electricity short uh, storage. End of his quote. Elon Musk recently said his battery day is tentatively scheduled for September, the month and the day to which Tesla recently pushed back its annual shareholder meeting. Originally, both events had been planned for June. Now Elon Musk said tentatively is September 15. We want to leave the exciting news for that day, but there will be a lot of exciting news to tell, Musk said on the company's first quarter earnings call. I think it would be one of the most exciting days in Tesla's history, he said. The company didn't return requests for comments from CNBC and outside Tesla technology uh, technical advisor Jeff Dunn, a professor at Dalhousie University in Canada who is a battery and energy storage expert with a Tesla research sponsorship, declined also comments for CNBC. Shirley Meng, a materials scientist and professor at the University of California, San Diego, who directs the school's Sustainable Power and Energy Center, said efforts to reduce the use of cobalt have been ongoing for a few decades already, and Tesla has made significant strides with Dan's help. But Meng said one of the major advantages of building batteries with cobalt is how easily it allows complex chemical structures to be engineered. If I have to train a high school student to make a battery, cobalt makes it easy. It always works. Without cobalt, the synthesis process gets much more sophisticated, she said. Lithium iron phosphate, meanwhile, has never proved 
to be efficient in the space constraints of an electric car. It was originally designed for the grid storage market due to its energy density profile, but its chemistry is suited to fast charging and cost efficiency because it does not rely on cobalt. Meng, who has worked on battery chemistry and development with major auto companies including Mercedes-Benz, GM and Nissan as well as Maxwell Technologies, the battery startup acquired by Tesla in 2019, said battery experts are very curious to learn about the breakthrough Tesla has had and she does believe the company could raise the profile of the lithium iron phosphate approach in the EV market. The battery tech had once tried to make the successful jump from energy storage to cars in the Fisker Karma, an early, ultimately failed electric vehicle contender produced by Fisker Automotive in 2012. I truly believe Tesla is planning to bring this back, Meng said. Why eliminating cobalt is key. Why is it important for Tesla to eliminate cobalt? The key difference in the lithium iron phosphate batteries is that they do not need to use cobalt, a rare and expensive element that is a big part of the high cost of electric vehicle batteries, CFRA research analyst Garrett Nielsen said. Cobalt prices have tanked during the global economic downturn, declining from as much as 95,000 per ton to in 2018 to 30,000 this year, but it remains key to bringing down battery costs. Cobalt is by far the most expensive element in a lithium ion battery, Nelson said. Canning cobalt is one of the biggest elements of cutting the cost of batteries below the $100 kilowatt hour threshold that is a rough proxy for making electric vehicles as cheap as those powered by internal combustion engines, said James Fried, head of energy storage at Bloomberg New Energy Finance in London. Today's batteries cost about $147 kilowatt per kilowatt hour, down from about $1,000 in 2010 and $381 in 2015, he said. You see the progression? It's very interesting how the battery cost is falling. And if the battery cost keeps falling, then the price of electric cars uh, where electric battery is the main component, I think 60% of it is, is just a battery, the price of electric cars, including Tesla vehicles, will fall. Well, let me repeat that again. Today, batteries cost about $147 per kilowatt hour. In 2010, electric car batteries cost about $1,000 per kilowatt hour. So about you know 10 plus times or uh, nine, nine or so times less. In 2015, the cost was $381. So $1,000, $381 in 2015 and $147 per kilowatt hour in 2010, in 2020. Tesla recently signed a new long-term deal with commodities giant Glencore to supply cobalt for its battery plants in Shanghai and Berlin. Cobalt, which also is the focus of a new race by minerals, by, by miners to extract minerals from the ocean floor, has long been a commodity challenge for major technology companies, not just Tesla, but Apple as well, which needs cobalt for its phone batteries. The element has become a politically sensitive issue too, with some of the largest suppliers of cobalt coming from the Democratic Republic of Congo, where allegations of deadly child labor in mining have ensnared Apple, Tesla, Google, and other tech firms in a recent international lawsuit. Meng cautioned that there is a limit to the price improvements to come from reducing just cobalt, and that's because the pricing differential, bet differential, differential between cobalt and nickel has narrowed in recent years. Tesla's primary electric vehicle battery technology is NCA, based on nickel-cobalt-aluminum oxide chemistry. 
most of the auto industry uses the uses an NMC nickel manganese cobalt battery chemistry. You, you see the difference between Tesla's battery technology from uh, most of the um, uh, auto industry uses. Tesla is using NCA. Most of the auto industry is using NMC nickel manganese cobalt battery chemistry. But with nickel, an important part of both approaches, reductions in cobalt alone can't drive continued step changes in battery pricing. It is going to be hard to get below $100 per kilowatt, Meng said of current nickel cobalt chemistry. Tesla realized they can't just get rid of cobalt. She said current battery technology, including NMC, remain a contender to reach the million mile threshold, but won't be able to do so on a cost effective basis with today's nickel concentrations. Nickel currently ranges in price from roughly one third to as much as one half the price of cobalt. With lithium iron phosphate, which does not require nickel or cobalt, lab research shows there is a possible pathway to drive pricing down to as low as $80 per kilowatt hour. How Tesla is going to do that with Chinese company cattle, I will do in my next report. So please, if you are here for the first time, friends, subscribe to our uh, channel. Uh, this is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com and also ring the bell so you may be notified when I upload my next story in which I'm going to do talk about Tesla and cattle and bringing the battery per kilowatt hour, the battery price.